I'm Dr. Raju Bantina. I work with Houston Injury Solutions, and I am an interventional pain physician. I'm board certified in anesthesiology and fellowship trained in interventional pain management. I work with the doctors in the group, and they refer patients to me when conservative treatment is not yielding optimal results, or the patient still has pain and symptoms despite weeks of therapy, medications, and rest. And when the MRI findings show disease or processes that are occurring like bulging disc, herniated discs, some facet inflammation, tears in the discs, which could be causing the pain, and this pain has not responded to conventional measures, they get referred to me for evaluation. I examine the patient, interview them to see how the pain is affecting their quality of life, look at the imaging studies, uh, and to see if the pain correlates with the, what the MRI shows. And if there's a correlation, then interventional options become an option. They are not a be-all, uh, they're part of the solution, and they encompass the whole treatment, from therapy, from increasing range of motion, to decreasing spasm, to taking anti-inflammatories. So the goal of epidural steroid injections is to see if we can decrease the inflammation and to start the healing process. So they work as a powerful anti-inflammatory within the epidural space, and they are, offer excellent results for some patients when there's herniated discs, there's disc bulges, as well as tears in the disc, which is called an annular tear or a fissure. How do we do epidural steroid injections? Many of you might have heard what epidural steroid injections are, and they're commonly done by anesthesiologists for women that are having a baby. Those, that is called a labor epidural. It is an epidural in that it goes into the epidural space, but the medications we put in each situation is very different. There, our goal is to simply numb them. So we put a lidocaine or a form of lidocaine, and they go numb. Uh, they can't walk, usually with the epidural. And once the baby comes out or the operation occurs, then the epidural gets turned off and everything resorts back to how it was within a few hours. How these differ is, first let me say what they do have in common is that they do go into the epidural space, but we're putting steroids. Steroids are powerful anti-inflammatories. And our, the reason we're putting steroids is to decrease the inflammation, decrease the swelling. And we have the, uh, we have the luxury of doing this as an elective procedure, so the environment is much more controlled. We don't do them blindly, like they are done for women that are having a baby. We do them under x-ray guidance. Uh, so we, we have the patient lay down, and we take an x-ray image and find the level which uh, has been shown to have a problem on the MRI correlated to the x-ray, and we inject at the appropriate level. We can do this one of two ways. We can do this under local anesthetic, where we numb up the skin and do the epidural steroid injection, or for patients that are a little bit more anxious, we offer intravenous sedation. So in that way, this procedure consisting of an epidural steroid injection is a much more controlled, precise process than the, than the one that many people know of, which is the labor epidural. Uh, we can make it much more comfortable, and we need to make it much more precise because we're targeting a specific area found to be on the MRI causing the patient's pain.